Hey guys, and welcome back after another long hiatus while I had my wisdom teeth out. Uh, so this is kind of a, a collection of footage I took while I was sick the first week. Um, while I was uh, swollen and gross <laughs> this last week. And, um, well, that's basically it. So I went through the, the Painted World a bit. I did some PvP. Um, Painted World because I wanted a few items like the uh, red soapstone. Uh, I, I actually kind of lost some of the footage here so you won't see all of it. I'll probably revisit it and just do a quick uh, item location segment in my next video maybe. I do want to show you guys all the Painted World. I don't want to skimp on that. Um, but we'll see a lot of it here. Uh, some shortcuts I like. The biggest shortcut in this area actually. Uh, so just running through these hollows. This is when I was sick, uh, so I didn't have the sphere yet, or at least I wasn't using it kind of regularly. But a uh, good use of magic, or any range, is great for those guys, because that, uh, that blood spray they do will poison you. So you don't want that. Also, using any fire-based attack... Uh, there's the, um, there's the soul, soul arrow being unreliable. Uh, but any fire-based attack will actually burn up that poison mist. And, uh, you won't get poisoned that way either. So, bring some, uh, uh fell off, fell off here by accident. That's the shortcut, is right there, you do a jump. But, um, if you fall, if you do fall down, this is what that looks like. A bunch of rats down here. Again, trying to make the use of uh, soul arrows. The rats, rats in general, all rats, won't attack you unless you get close to them. Just about all rats. I don't want to say all rats, I think there's some exceptions to that. But uh, most rats in the game will not attack unless you get close. Uh, stop the, uh... Oh, maybe not. I thought I dropped a humanity. So that drops you out here. If you go down to the right, there's the Painted Guardian set. I'll get that later. Um, there's pretty much always a guy at the top of this ladder, unless you kill them otherwise. Um, in this case, there's two, because another one came by. Just get up close, and he'll attack like that, and fall off. Here's another good use of Sorry Series um, you'll see in a second here. Uh, using force to blast him off, the one that I knocked down first. But here's another good use of sorcery. It's like jumping down there and fighting that guy would be harder. But given the angle of the sorcery cast, I can fire over little um, planks that he can't. And so that's pretty cool. Basically, sorcery is great to have around, even if it's just like soul arrows. For situations like that, sometimes it's just strategically very viable. And so here's the shortcut. I'm not sure if I get it this time. Yeah, there you go. And so this basically skips uh, having to go down below to get the key. You can get to this area without unlocking the, um, the church door. This is the church door I'm talking about. You do need the key. Master key won't work for that door. If you go straight to the well to the right of me currently, uh, there's the the dark ember. That's another thing I won't show in this video, but um, it's over there. You'll have to fight a couple harpies to get it. The Harpies are a pain, they have a lot of health, and their grab attack does a lot of damage if you don't have, if you don't have good armor or high vitality it can't kill you. 
faster jump attack. I was actually too close for it to hit. It probably could have hit me, and so that was really risky to stay standing there. Um, but that has a that jump has a very far range, so going far away isn't necessarily the best option either. Uh, kiting him over because there's no good angle for my soul arrows or my uh, soul masses. Blow off the edge. Vow of silence, which of course prevents uh, spell casting any sorceries. Uh, I d does it apply to miracles? I'm not sure if it applies to miracles or pyromancies. Um, but it prevents certain types of casting in the area. Here's you doing another jump, that was a close one. If I didn't roll off, that would have caught me. I'm triggering the undead dragon here, because I want him to see if he can kill these harpies for me. Because I'm on my last Estus. Uh, so... Is a poisonous breath. That's what I was hoping would get him. And uh, yeah, so I finished that up. When you go down here, this is how you're gonna want to finish it. When the harpies fell down here. Now I was a little worried, but it's actually hurt a lot, so it only took one great soul arrow. So you take that shortcut, head down this way, go through this fog door, and essentially you've kind of gone through this area backwards. Run around the phalanx, and open the shortcut. So I went. Uh, I went to Firelink later. You can tell this is uh, after I went to SL100. Oh, they, Master Logan. It's, I was picking up the uh, before the rings that Greg sells. Oh, hello. Then as pro I was thinking of getting Soul Spear as well. Uh, just uh, debating it here because it costs forty thousand, or I could buy both of these rings right now. I knew I'd have the souls later, but I was just thinking of what I wanted uh, right now. And uh, double tuning soul spear is really nice um, for a lot of soul farming runs. My favorite soul farming run, which I'll show you guys uh, probably next time here if I remember, um, involves double tuning soul spear, so it can be really handy. Okay, so here is um, here is my first um, invasion in a while. I was trying to be sneaky <laughs> with this one, not being very fair. <laughs> Get a nice ambush, 982 damage, which is almost all his health. I'm wearing the Death's Crown Ring, um, and since he's poisonous, able to take him out, no problem. Being kind of a jerk with <laughs> a taunt. <laughs> I just felt like being a jerk there. Um, he decided to take out uh, this guy. Oh, you. You have quite some nerve, or are you just thick? Fine, then. What is it that you need? I was thinking if I wanted to, to buy anything from him. But I decided not to. Except for two Lloyd Stillsmans. But uh, yeah, I was... Um, I'm wearing the Dusk Crown because I, I usually don't like it. It's just kind of one of those things that jerks tend to kind of use and just the dummies... And, like, it just looks bad. I don't like how it looks. It, like, no insult to anyone that uses it. It's a great item. But I there's just a stigma attached to it that I don't like, I guess. But it actually... I didn't know this at first, but it enhances miracles as you. well as sorceries. If you survive your crown. So it just fits too well with this build to not use it. And so check out this combo.
1733 damage. Just destroyed. So we get Chester's whole set. And uh, I was trying to warp out of this area, and the bon none of the bonfires would let me, and I was trying to get to the first one. And I saw this guy, and this really surprised me. And uh, I didn't see it at the time. If you remind, you can kind of see the, the other one as well. There's two of them in there. Normally, in the wiki agrees, is that normally these guys only respawn if you beat Manus. Will there be two of them? Uh, also on New Game Plus, I think there's always two. But that was weird. I actually have no idea why they are there. Uh, went back to the painted world to wrap up some things. Uh, ended up falling down here again. Those guys drop humanities. Uh, humanities uh, can be found on rats often because they they chew on the corpses of the undead and uh, ingest some humanity. So just kind of showing off the spear here, I guess. Just showing, uh, compared to last time, just kind of how much easier it makes things. It's a really good weapon with that range. We'll see more on that. But uh, I've shown this here to uh, show you guys that the uh, painted set is indeed right down here. So I did go ahead and grab that. I was, I'm trying to assemble maybe a light build I can use. Use hidden body and not heavy armor so I can move uh, quietly. This is the other shortcut you can do just to get down here quickly. Just jump a little bit further, get right over it. Watch out for those phalanx spears. Uh, get a humanity, which you can cut down that body directly above that location. You do have to cut that body with the humanity down. Uh, ring of sacrifice there. Then I also wanted to take out uh, King Jeremiah, because his set's actually really good. Uh, the gloves have some impressive defense, I believe, for four gloves. Um, pretty high value for their weight. Uh, right here, I underestimated these hollows a lot. Which just goes to show you, in Dark Souls, if you underestimate enemies, no matter who they are, um, they can screw you over. Just not paying attention to my surroundings. <laughs> just kind of making a fool of myself. Some bad timing with some strikes, that sort of thing. And so, King Jeremiah will be coming in in a second. It's interesting, Jeremiah, he can, uh, he can actually block with his pyromancy flame. Just another one of those cool things that Frum decided not to give us. Like, uh, Chester's sweep kick, for example. I believe Lotrek can also block with his parrying dagger. So this guy has a surprisingly good amount of magic defense. You can see only doing 153 damage with those uh, soul spears. So I'm kind of gimped against him. I walk forward here. The flames got me, the residual flames. So he is using the chaos fireball as opposed to a uh, great fireball. He drops a whip, which you can't really see here because of all the stuff. And so here's another uh, invasion I had while I was going around in here. So he hasn't seen me. Top off my health. Just thinking, okay, maybe I can be sneaky with this guy too. I see him cast Hidden Body, so I think it's only appropriate that I do. It's kind of a stupid spell for Phantoms to use since they glow anyways. So trying to just get the drop on him. And doing some pretty good damage through his shield. 162 damage off of those pokes. So he's also a sorcerer. I heard him casting Soul Masses, so I knew I had to get away from him. Now, he obviously has lower intelligence, because he only has three. Very smart of him here. Very well-equipped player uh, with the uh, Great Magic Shield. 
I was gonna wait for him to go up, come around the corner and hit him with Wrath of the Gods, but he let his guard down when around went around the corner. But my soul masses could still see him, and they went for him, and uh, that was enough to kill him. <clears throat> Using the range of the spear to uh, kill those guys is also really good. Long range weapons are great for dealing with those guys. I went down here again. I didn't actually realize I repeated some of this uh, footage a bit. But yeah, again, that's the uh, the door you need the key for. You'll notice the boss door was open. That's because when I got invaded once, the uh, Phantom actually did a really nice thing and opened that door for me. They went down into the sewer area and pulled the lever for me, so that's actually really nice. Normally you do have to go down there. So, turning on soul masses so they could fire on this guy while I focus on dodging. Uh, so I, again, here just kind of showing off the difference. You know, these guys just piece of cake with this new loadout. The range is super useful on the spear. I actually got hit with this. See, so that's such a that's a really good jump attack. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage, even with my my pretty good armor. <clears throat> it's all plus five at this point. Then he falls on the hole. Or she. Oh yeah, so this is why I came back. I was looking for uh, Velka's set. Went around the wrong way. I was thinking maybe I might use the robe in my... <laughs> the harpy jumping. Uh, I might... I figured I might use the robe in my build. Or the pants, I'm not sure. I do want an alternative light build I can be sneaky with. Uh, in this part, I had been invaded. I didn't see them. I couldn't tell where they were. So I came and I waited in here with hidden body. Because everyone always checks here. Because this is where a lot of people PvP. Again, just playing around with being sneaky, I know, not very honorable. If I'm being invaded, I'm less likely to be honorable. If I'm invading someone else, I'm pretty much always. But just wanted to see uh, how well I could exploit this build. Hit him with that. He did a really stupid thing here of trying to heal. He knew I had range, so... So I do like, well, like, why? Why would you heal there? <laughs> And then I uh, came back a little bit later here to um, get the, uh, the King Jeremiah set. He doesn't drop it. He drops his uh, weapon. Um, but he does not drop his armor. So this little ambush here. They'll come up behind you. And then there's this guy down here. I remembered him being a lot harder, a lot more health. But um, that was in my first playthrough as a sorcerer. And I didn't have as high as intelligence when I was here, but the soul spear is enough to take him out. Which is lame, because now I'm actually left with these soul masses, and if I go through the boss door, I'm just worried that I might hit Priscilla. But um, that's not actually the case. Fog doors nuke those when you walk through them. And so here I was doing some more PvP. Um, this guy, this guy was a weird fight. I was a little worried about him. I was also trying to summon phantoms there. Were red phantoms with the red soapstone they were using. But I couldn't tell if this guy was serious or not. He was trying to roll into me with Kirk's armor to do spiky roll damage. It wasn't working. I'm just like, what is this guy doing? First of all, but I was still kind of worried because he has that... He's two-handing that sword and could do some serious damage, so I still wanted to kill him, but I was like, what are you doing? So that was weird. I don't know what he was up to. I was still worried about him hitting me with that, though. Um, this... 
this lady is pretty good. Uh, well, man, probably, but playing this lady. Something really cool happens in this fight, actually. No, uh, just throwing that to get things, to kick things off. Making use of the soul masses combined with the length of the spear. Oh, watch this. Boom! Deflected. Amazing. Awesome move on, on this person's part. Uh, that was really cool. I, I kind of wish that did deflect back and kill me, just because that would be kind of cool. But, yeah, great use of um, force-type spell, because that was great. Now, uh, right here, I get her because she's um, poiseless, and I just wail on her. Because she made the mistake of two-handing her weapon, couldn't really block me. That was the end of it. But uh, the length of the spear combined with soul masses is really good, because you can hit him with both at the same time, because it's so long. This guy, I was testing out another little sneaky method on. Hit people with Wrath of the Gods as they're walking by. Trying to, I'm kind of spamming it here, not to be that guy, but I wanted to get him in the corner so I could poke him like that. But I got too high up and he was able to escape. Thought I dodged that, still was too close, got hit by it. But look at the range of the spear and how I'm canceling his casts with hitting him. That's really cool. And from then on, just trying to uh, whittle his health away. Even if he blocked me, the magic damage would still go through his shield. So, with that low of health after all those pokes, um, it was pretty much over. Now, this guy, I was playing around with going super hyper mode on a player. Using red tear stone and power within to stack effects. Because that way, the magic damage going through his shield is huge. 114 on each hit. 652 was it on a on an actual landed hit? That's a huge damage. Uh, being able to poke him through his shield like that and do a lot of damage is really cool. So I was playing around with it, but it kind of failed. So I I just want to do some regular PvP. I'll I'll probably play around with it later, but you do have to come quick and basically not get hit. Ever. Uh, this was another good fight. Um, He's clearly a lower soul level player. His hit on me did very little damage. Making use of Wrath of the Gods because he doesn't have a shield. He's dual wielding, so I know he's going to try to get in there and just chew me up. And so, uh, it wasn't really a fair fight. I was obviously a higher soul level um, since his weapon is doing such little damage. Surprisingly little for this area. Not sure why he's even there. Now this guy, I believe this is the guy, I fought him a few times, three times in a row actually. So I open with Hidden Body and Soul Masses, which get a hit on him because he doesn't have his, his shield up, he didn't land the dodge. Get a hit in with the range, use the extra time that it affords me to escape for the roll. And um... He's kind of getting the pokes in. He's rolling forward a lot to try to get those hits in, and that's important. Because I made note of that. And uh, right here, I believe it is. No. Yeah, okay. I figured he would. He he's That's his style. He rolls forward and attacks. Knowing that, you'll see right here what, how I decided to address that. Because he's dodging my magic. I wanted to finish him off kind of too high for the spear pokes that was risky casting that but I, I went for it so I'm having some trouble hitting him with all kinds of things I knew we'd do that roll forward eventually I was ready with the leap to uh, cut him off and so here he is again uh, same guy I believe this is the same guy yep so, the bow, we're trying to fight, you know, legitimately here. Cast Hidden Body again. I just like having it on, just to confuse them. <laughs> Open the Soul Masses again. And so, it's the second time I've opened with that. He's getting close. I get hit. Real dangerous. So, that's the thing about this build. Just don't get hit, and <laughs> you're fine. Which is easy with so many tricks. 
too early on that roll of his. So I'm thinking I can use Wrath of the Gods, but no, if he gets another hit on me, I'm done. So I, I can't afford to try to get off a Wrath of the Gods hit, and right there is just the huge range of the spear working for me. And I think I fought him again, the third time, directly after that. I believe this should be him. Hidden body, again. But, I'm gonna use a Crystal Soul Spear. He's expecting the Soul Masses, doesn't try to dodge or roll or anything, because he doesn't think it'll be an uh, immediate cast. Gets hit with it. Gets thrown off on his game, panics, rolls too much, doesn't time it to the Soul Masses, and uh, gets taken out. And so, that's gonna be it for today. Um, good to be back. I'll be uh, back to doing uh, daily episodes this coming week, so I'm excited about that. Uh, maybe do some more PvP, uh, finish things up with uh, Manus, and uh, and also Calamy. Got a couple other bosses to uh, hit, so we'll probably just uh, progress through the story here and, uh, and uh, move things along. So thanks for watching, guys. Great to be back, and uh, I'll see you guys Monday.